In the previous part, I showed you how two amazing metrics on the Darwin X platform that look at the timing of the open and close strategy of your systems get calculated. I also started to explain how I personally use these to help me improve my own systems. So let's now go into the Darwin X platform itself to take a look. I'll use one of my own systems to show this, which is the Darwin PII. So across the top here, these 12 metrics represent the current 12 investable attributes. And we might even see this number increase in the future. But the two that I've been explaining so far are the open strategy and the closed strategy. As you can see, I score very well from a closed strategy point of view for this system, but not quite so well for the open strategy. But my overall view in trading anyway is that the trade exit rules are actually more important than the entry rules, and so at least this is the right way around. By clicking on the open strategy icon, this takes me directly to the metrics. The slightly thicker white line on the chart represents the effectiveness of the timing of my actual strategy. The other 10 coloured lines represent the 10 alternative entries I explained in part one of this episode. And the timing of these range from entries that were taken 50% earlier than the actual entry, up to entries that were taken 50% later in 10% increments. So this means there are 11 lines in total. And by simply hovering over the chart, you can see which is which. So my actual entry points rank third out of the 11 possible values, which isn't too bad. But what it does tell me is that if the system entered its trade using the minus 10 or minus 20% basis, so slightly earlier than the actual entry, then the system would have performed better during this period of time. So now let's scroll down and take a look at the timing around the closure of the trades. You can see here that my system performs much better in terms of the close strategy, and in fact gets ranked in a close second place. The only close that would have beaten my strategy is if trades had exited 10% later than they did. And so in terms of the overall conclusion here, it's that if my system had entered into trades very slightly earlier and then exited them very slightly later, then it would have performed better in this period of time. So now we understand the metrics, how do I use this information in a practical way? Well, it gives me things to try out in a backtesting context. So I would firstly consider how I could slightly adjust the rules of my system to enable the entry and the exit to be tweaked in line with the intelligence gained from the live trading data. But I would never dream, of course, of simply making a change and then trading that in my live account. I'm an algo trader, and so the foundations of everything I do is based on backtesting. So the metrics have done their job They've certainly given me a couple of ideas for potential changes to make. But before taking any action in my live account, I test these out thoroughly to see if they genuinely improve my system for a much longer time frame by backtesting those ideas. If things did improve and everything was aligned, then yes, those changes would make their way through my process and ultimately be put live. But also remember, these metrics are continually being recalculated every day based on new trades that are executed. It means you can also actively track the improvements that you're making over time. And it's this iterative cyclic process that leads to continual improvement. Now, there are many reasons why I believe the Darwin X platform is the best platform available for traders such as helping skilled traders attract investor capital. But let's not forget the investable attributes. For me, these have a really important part to play for traders, and they can generate some really valuable insights. So I hope you found that really useful. Do go onto the Darwin X platform to have a closer look at the investable attributes for yourself. As I say, I've only covered two of them in today's episode. There are plenty more for you to look at also. 
And that brings us to a close for this week. So until next time, trade safe.